Ultron must be stopped no matter the cost. One shall stand, one shall fall. Till all are one. This is TF Toys Addict here. Um, today's episode is I'm going to be naming every single character in my Transformers Masterpiece Collection. So I, it took me around five to six hours to note everything on my phone of each character's third party name and the code names and stuff. And to be honest, it took forever. The name, some of these names are just ridiculously long, so I'm going to try to make this video not too long for you guys, I'm trying to make it as, you know, short as possible, but I think the only way I could do this is if I name the characters, um, the brand's name and the official name, it's much quicker because when you Google the brand's name of the toy, of the Transformers Masterpiece. Um, if you Google the third party's brand's name and you Google it, Google it with the official name, then it will pop up. That's the fastest way, unless I name every single character reading it off my phone. But um, I'll probably, you know, tell you guys each shelf here and I'll tell you guys each shelf and then at the end of the shelf, I'll just um, list, the, you know, a quick um, list of the third party names. You know, I'll add some 3D titles and stuff, and then you guys can see, and then you guys can pause it, and then you guys can see who, what the actual third party name is. Okay, let's start here. Let's try to get this quickly done. Um, so we'll start off with the season one characters. It's the easiest way. Uh, season one, uh, season one characters of the Autobots first. So right here, we'll start off with Braun here. So that's Fans Toys Braun. Um, yeah, that's Fans Toys Brawn, that's X-Transbot's uh, Wind Charger, back there is um, Bad Cube's um, Sideswipe, there's Fans Toys Trailbreaker, um, that's Takara Tomy's official Sunstreaker, that is uh, Fans Toys Jazz, did I say Fans Toys Cliff Jumper? I think I did. And then that is um, Fans Toys um, Skyfire. That is Takara Tomy's uh, MP44 Optimus Prime. That is Takara Tomy's um, Official Masterpiece Hound. That is Takara Tomy's uh, Masterpiece Ironhide. Takara Tomy's Masterpiece um, Blue Streak. That's the tune color, I think. And then that is Fans Toys Mirage. That is uh, Takara Tomy's Masterpiece, if you guys can see there. One second, if you guys can see there. Uh, Prowl. That is Fans Toys Gears. And that is Fans Toys Huffer. I think we covered the first shelf here. I think we did, yeah. Let's go on to the next shelf. I'm not going to name every single character. I'm just going to, you know, try to save my voice here. I'm just going to name, like, you know, if it's like a combiner team, I'll just give the brand, the brand's name, and then I'll just say the combiner, like Constructicons, for example, right? So these are the fans' toys. Dinobots. You know, Grimlock, Slag, Snarl, Sludge, and Swoop. And then that is uh, Takar Tomy's uh, Wheeljack, Masterpiece Wheeljack. That is Takara Tomy's Masterpiece Bumblebee, version 2. And that is Takara Tomy's Masterpiece Ratchet. So this covers season 1 right here. This whole shelf. And this is the reason why I display it like this, because to keep the season 1 together. Oh, you got like, you know, Spike. Spike and Sparkplug and Chip. Daniel and Carly and those guys. And yeah, that's a, just a Hot Wheel. Uh, wheel Jack. Okay. Start off with this first. On here, 
we'll continue on. This is the season one Decepticons now. So this is, uh, we'll start off to, to from the left to the right. So this is uh, Fans Toys Cassettes, Frenzy, Rumble, Ravage. That is Takara Tomy's uh, Buzzsaw. Um, there's uh, Takara, oh no, that's Fans Toys Cassette uh, Laserbeak. And then that is uh, Robot Paradise um, Acoustic Wave, which is uh, Fans Toys Soundwave. And then those are the third party, um, who was it again? Crimson Wing, I think it was, Deformation Space, The Seekers. If you can see there, this is KFC Toys uh, Reflector. Right there. And then that is um, Takara Tomy's MP36 Megatron. And these are just the mini bots that came with, I think, uh, X Transbots Perceptor of the micro bots if you remember that episode and there's the crimson and stuff yeah that's the season one decepticon shelf okay we'll go down here that is uh takara tomi united warriors constructicons so these are basically the takara versions of the combiner wars one but uh takara tomi's version the difference is the purple color is slightly different and also the arms actually bend you don't need the upgrade kit with kit with the combiner wars uh, version where the arms don't even bend at all so this is uh fans toys insecticons bombshell kickback and shrapnel so that is season one. Well, I, I didn't name this guy. Hold on, the, the combiner. So basically in season one, there is Toy World Constructor. That's his third party name, but I might remember some of the third party names, but it's basically Toy World's version of a Masterpiece Scale uh, Devastator. So yeah, there you go. That's season one, Decepticons. Okay, now we're back again. So this is my season two Autobot shelf. So basically we'll start from right to left. Um, that is Takara Tomy's smoke screen, Masterpiece smoke screen. Back there is Takara Tomy's uh, Masterpiece grapple. That is Fans Toys Hoist. That is Fans Toys Warpath, if you can see there. He's just hiding right behind uh, Sea Spray. Uh, that is Fans Toys Sea Spray. That is Fans Toys Blaster. Uh, Fans Toys uh, Perceptor version two. That's Tesla version two. That's his third party name. Like I said, I might remember some of them by by you know by by in my in my head, but uh, I'm most likely not going to remember every single third party name. But like I said again, I will post uh, a list of the characters after each shelf and stuff. So that is X Transbots Cosmos, Fans Toys Beachcomber, Fans Toys Power Glide. That's Bad Cube's Red Alert. That's Takara Tomy's, if you can see there, Takara Tomy's uh, Masterpiece Infernal. And that is Takara Tomy's um, Tracks. I think I covered all this shelf right here. Pretty sure I did. And then here's more of uh, the Season 2 Autobots. Um, that is X Transbots version of uh, Skids. That is X Transbots version of, I think it's Groove. And that's X Transbot's version of Streetwise. And this this is the Fans Toys Aerial Bots. You know, Silver Bolt, Air Raid, and I forgot what the other guy's name is. But um, I do have Viper, which is, I forgot which Aerial Bot was it. Fans Toys uh, sitting in Vancouver with my buddy. I just haven't uh, told him to ship it over or anything. But I'll be getting him soon. So this is Fans Toys Aerial Bots here. Again, we're still waiting for them to complete all of them, but it's just taking a long time. But at least they did release uh, the fourth character. Okay, and we'll go down here. That is Yes Models fourth party of Maki Toys Guardia, which is an oversized version of, 
uh, Makitoi's Guardia, and that is uh, defense, basically Defensor. And that is Takara Tomi's Red Alert. And that is Takara Tomi's uh, Sideswipe G2. This is Deformation Space's uh, Blaster with, um, who was it again? Ocular Max's Remix Cassette uh, Steel Jaw. I also have Rewind and Eject sitting in Vancouver. Again, it's just going to be on my second haul that uh, that will be coming, you know, later on. And then that is um, Perceptor, Fans Toys Perceptor version. That's version one. So I decided to, because I had the version one as well, and I decided to, to display them in alt mode. I'm trying to work on my alt mode more. And that is DX9's version of Power Glide, also displayed in alt mode. So that covers the season two Autobots. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, there we go. If you guys can see there. Sorry. So I missed out. Uh, this is Zeta Toy, the combiners and the large guys for season two. So that is um, Zeta Toys Chronos, which is Superion Masterpiece uh, Scale. Um, this is uh, DX9's Gabriel, which is uh, their version of a Masterpiece Scale Omega Supreme. Yeah, and that's the season two. Now. Okay, season two Decepticons. We'll start off with the cone heads here. So that's Make Toys uh, cone heads. Uh, you got Thrust, Dirge, and Ramjet. Then you got uh, Takara Tomy's um, masterpiece Nightbird. Then you got uh, Star Toys masterpiece, their version, third party uh, Star Toys of their version of Blitzwing. And that is Fans Toys. Thomas, which is uh, uh, which is uh, Astro Train. If you guys can see back there, hold on a second here. There you go. Kind of hard to see back there when it's covered with such a large bot. Might change my display a bit so it, these guys won't be covered by huge bots. Okay, now we go down to second here. Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll go to uh, this is Fans Toys version. Of the Stunticons, again, we're still waiting for Dead End. I don't know when he's going to come. You know, Motor Master and those guys. Drag Strip, Breakdown, I forgot the other guy's name. But yeah, and then this is... Uh, this is um, Unique Toys Combaticons. Yeah, they will perfectly work in team mode. I was, I thought about picking up the Ocular Max version, but it's expensive. So I got this set used. And, you know, why not? It works, yeah, in combined mode, they're, they only uh, scale close to 18 inches, but in team mode, they work completely fine as masterpiece, you know, like, they're pretty much masterpiece scale in, in team mode display, right? So, yeah, they, and then, that is season, oh, and then, sorry, and uh, I'm kind of all over the place right now. There is uh, Zeta Toys. Zeta Toys, um, hold on a second, let me fix my exposure here. What is going on? Why is it so bright? Okay, Zeta Toys, uh, Bruticus, which is Bruticon, like the third party name is Bruticon, which is Bruticus. And that is uh, X Transbot's version of uh, Masterpiece Menasaur. I think, I think his third party name was Monolith. Okay. There we go. That is season two. Now we'll go on to the movie shelf, guys. Okay, let's go here, uh, starting from right to left. X Transbots Wheelie, Fans Toys Cup. That is Takara Tomy's MP8. Uh, Grimlock, that is Fans Toy Springer, if you can see there, let's move my gimbal here, that is Fan, oh sorry, that's Takara Tomy's uh, RC, Masterpiece RC, 
That is a uh, um, Masterpiece MP9 Rodimus Prime, Takara Tomy's version, and that is Takara Tomy's uh, MP28 Hot Rod. And I th these are fans' toys uh, cassettes, like, I think it was Rewind, or I think that's Eject, and that's Rewind. Either or, I don't remember which one's who. It's either Rewind or Eject, and, you know, Steel Jaw, and you got Ramhorn. I think his name is Ramhorn, right? And then these are just uh, mainline, mainline uh, studio series, uh, Spike, I think it was. Uh, and then I just mimicked, I bought two of them to mimic one of them as Daniel. And that's, um, the one that's displayed in alt mode is the one that came with Masterpiece MP21 Bumblebee. And then let's see who else did I miss. Oh, there's, uh, Fans Toys Blur. There's X Transbots, uh, Perceptor. That is, uh, KFC Toys Rekgar. And one of the Junkions, I don't remember exactly the name. Like I said, I'm going to put a list after each shelf. And that's uh, KFC Toys Blaster. And that is uh, Takara Tomy's Masterpiece um, um, Ultra Magnus. That's what it was. Okay, that's the Autobot movie shelf. If you guys can see there. Okay, now we're back again. Let's, uh, now we're naming the Decepticon in the movie shelf. Not much in the movie shelf anyways for Decepticons. Um, there is uh, X Transbot Sweeps. Um, that is Fans Toys, one of the sweeps. And that's Fans Toys uh, Cyclonus. And that's the fourth party Fans Toys Cyclonus, which is a KO version of it. I forgot which, who makes it, Hurricane, or I forgot which brand makes it. Um, that is... Fans Toys uh, Galvatron, the movie color, which is FT16M. And then, you know, with their little target masters and headmasters, whatever characters that comes with them. And that's Fans Toys Scourge. Is it focusing here? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's Fans Toys Scourge. And there's another uh, X Transbot Sweeps. Okay, then we'll move on to here. Okay, and then you got more of the movie shelf. There is Studio Cell Unicron. This is the tune color one. And then you got uh, my little Sharktacon army. So that is, you know, just, oh, so let's name the Junkions first. Those, those, those are two Junkions back there. KF, more KFC Junkions. Again, I don't remember exactly the name for each Junkion, there's just so many of them. And then that is uh, just mainline, you know, uh, Generations, Toys, whatever, or Siege, or Earthwise, uh, Alicons. And then you got, uh, this is the fourth party of the little Sharktacons here. I think it's Mech, Mech Fans Toys or something, or Mecha Fans Toys that made it. And then you got the oversized Sharktacons. Some fourth party brand made these, which is a KO version of the, I think the Studio Series Null or something. And then you got, uh, I think that's Earthrise's Quintesson. Then you got the Takar, these are actually Takar Tomy's uh, Sharticons, little mini Sharticons here, and more Alicons. So that covers my movie shelf. Well, actually, not really, because the movie shelf is back here as well. So, there is Hazlab's uh, War of Cybertron uh, Unicron, which is a crowdfunded piece. There you go. And that's the whole movie shelf, guys. As you guys can see here, again... Okay, we'll continue on with, we'll just continue on with season three and season four, and then I'll name the other shelves, but we'll finish this shelf off first, like my whole center shelf. Okay, this is uh, KFC Toys Triple Changer Octane. 
That is Fans Toys Six Shot. That is uh, Takara Tomy's Masterpiece Bla uh, Sound Blaster. That is X Transbot's uh, Scourge. So I upgraded my other Scourge, but I kept this guy because you know he's part of the sweeps, right? So he'll probably tra I'll probably transform him into the ship mode later, like into the alt mode, or just display him like this, you know. I actually don't mind the tra X Transbots version of Scourge, and there's another X Transbots uh, sweeps, and that is a uh, cartoon color fans toys Galvatron, which is just the normal FT16, and there is um, I said Sound Blaster already. I forgot to mention Rat Bat. Okay, and then. Move on to more of the Decepticon Season 3 and Season 4. There is a uh, Fans Toys Mind Wipe. There is, um, is it Fans Toys, uh, Fans Toys uh, Skull Cruncher, I think his name is. And then there's Fans Toys Weird Wolf. Those are the Decepticons Headmasters. And also those are KFC, that's KFC Toys. Um, Ape Face and Snapdragon. These are the first versions. I know they reissued it, but yeah, these are the first versions back there. And then we'll move on to the Autobots uh, season three and four. So that's KFC Toys Twin Cast. That is um, Maki Toys Point Blank, Maki Toys Chrome Dome. That is uh, Maki Toys Hardhead, and that is Unique Toys Sandstorm. Then you got Fans Toys um, Outback, Fans Toys Swerve. That is Takara Tomy's Masterpiece Gold Bug, and that is. Um, uh, X Transbots Tailgate, and that is Fans Toys Pipes, and I think this is Rosanna. I forgot her name or Mandy, and I think that's is this Scorpion or Stinger? And then these are just KFC toys, and uh, again, I think this is Rewind. And then that is um, that came with the de deformation spaces um, blaster, so that's Ramhorn. And then you got the little you know characters that come with. Uh, masterpiece uh, Ultra Magnus. Yeah, and that's season four, guys. You guys can see here that's season four, season three, and four. Okay, let's move on to the bottom shelf. These are just my alt mold stuff and my die clone, my small die clone collection. So this is, I think this is Takara Tomy's uh, Loud Pedal. So basically it's the limited, uh, you know, limited edition of MP25 tracks. But it's just, uh, I guess it's like the Nemesis version, whatever. And then this is, uh, this is an extra Toy World Constructor scavenger that I had because I broke the combiner port on him. So I have an extra bot to display. He doesn't have a combiner port with him. So I just displayed him in alt mode. I do like the excavators, they're cool. One of my favorite uh, con uh, construction vehicles. And then this is uh, Takar Tomy's um, Masterpiece Exhaust, which is like this Decepticon version of Wheeljack. Then you got um, more Diaclone. Uh, who is this guy? I don't, I don't know if I can remember all the names here. I might have to pull up my phone and start reading. Um, this is... Uh, who's this? Um... Okay, hold on a second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. So this is uh, Takara Tomy's Diaclone's version of, uh, basically, his name is Clampdown. And that is, um, I guess, the Diaclone version of Blue Streak. Ma uh, these are all Takara Tomy right here. Masterpiece. That is Takara Tomy's, um, I think it's Cordon. 
think that's his name. Hold on a second. Let me look at my phone again. See, this is the thing. This, gonna, this video will take me forever if I had to read it off my phone to know exactly exact names and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's Corden. Well, we'll just say it's Corden right now. Um, and then that is Tiger Track, um, the yellow version of Sideswipe. And then that is uh, Road Rage, I think her name is. Uh, Takar Tomi's Masterpiece Road Rage. And these are all the Takar Tomi's uh, Daikon of Skids. So many different names here. Where's my Daikon shelf? Let's see, I'm searching through my phone to look for the, the names. It's a huge list. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, it was Corden, that um, Diacone version of Sunstreaker. And then that is, uh, what's the red version? Hold on. I think it's Reboost to Cartomies. I might mix it up here. And then that one is, I think, Dia Burnout, the black one. And then, of Skids, I meant. And then this is, the silver one is, see, he has a weird name. Senator crosscut like do you seriously need to name them like you know they're like basically making up all these names here and that's just hot wheels of honda city turbos here but yeah and that's my die clone shelf guys oh and then we'll just do this alt mold shelf here might as well do it right now while i'm down here i'm sitting down while i'm doing this so that is bad cubes huffer so what i did was just quick note um, most of the characters that I upgrade to the, the latest and greatest versions, I just take the old version and transform it into alt mode. And, you know, that's why I'm working on my alt mode display. So this way it gives me, you know, both, both, uh, displays of each character. But yeah, they're different brands, but at least I don't have to buy multiples of the same character where I just take my old one. Transform into alt mode is good enough, right? Yeah, I've seen some people, some crazy collectors that collect multiples of the same character and I'm like wow like they'll get like five of this character or whatever I'm like why do you want to get that many right okay anyways let's get back to it so yeah I said uh bad cube huffer right and then that is uh Takar Tomy's masterpiece um first version of Bumblebee which is MP21 I think it was the number and that is um Magic Square Light of Peace um Optimus Prime that's the first version. That doesn't come with the premium parts. I displayed them in alt mode here. And that is MP10's authentic trailer. I just connected it to it. And then that is um, Bad Cube's gears. And that is Bad Cube Huffer. If you guys can see there, the alt mode there. Okay, guys, we're almost done my whole center shelf here. Almost done. Starting from the top, let's do the top shelf here. So that is MP9B, Takar Tomy's uh, Black Rodimus with his trailer. That is a fourth party um, MP44 um, Shatter Glass. That is Takar Tomy's, uh, I think it's MP49, which is a Nemesis Prime which is MP44's mold. And then this is, uh, these are fourth parties here. Fourth party uh, MP52's, which is uh, the Seekers. Um, I think it's made by Eagle One. They're pretty much bang for your buck, guys. Like, like I do click some KO here in their fourth party. Not a lot of them. I think I might have a, around maybe close to 10 KOs in my collection, but the rest are authentic and authentic third party and stuff, right? But there's no there's no shame in collecting fourth party because it saves you huge money. Each MP52 seeker is like 350 Canadian and up. So I don't I don't see what's the point of spending that much money where you can get the fourth party, which is probably slightly better and they fix things and stuff like that. You know all the quirks and QC issues that the Takara Tomy version has and stuff like that, right? So yeah, Eagle One seekers, you know Starscream with his coronation set. Thundercracker and Skywarp, if you can see back there. And then you got uh, Ocular Max Remix Tapes. Hold on, let me fix my exposure here because it's. I gotta fix this. Hold on. Oh, come on. No. What is going on here? Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's. 
let's get back to the shelf here. Um, that is Ockler Max's um, remix cassettes of Rumble, Ravage, and Frenzy. They're just the larger size ones, and they're much better than the smaller cassettes because they do have some articulation and stuff like that. And then there is um, MP13, Takar Tomi's Masterpiece Soundwave. Whenever I say Takar Tomi, it means it's authentic. Like official and authentic and stuff. Unless I state it as Force Party. But yeah, that's MP13 Soundwave. Um, that is Takar Tomi's uh, Laser Beak. And then that is... Uh, this is a Force Party MP36. I think it's... Um, I think the brand is Infinite Transformation, or whatever the brand is called. Uh, basically, IT01, I think his third party name is Emperor. I think that's what his name is. And that is a fourth party uh, MP44. And then that is um, Takara Tomy's MP8X, which is the comic color version of Grimlock, of MP8. And then he has um, the extensions on his feet that came with... Fans Toys Scoria, which is uh, Fans Toys Slag. Yeah, it came with it back in the day. That toy is really old. I think I got that toy in 2014. Like Tombo, uh, Fans Toys Slag. And this one's pretty old too, in my collection. A lot of my toys are like over 10 years old. Okay, let's see here. And then we got, uh, that is Takara Tomy's Delta Magnus, which is the Diaclone version of Ultra Magnus. And then you got um, Make Toys Downbeat, which is Jazz. That's Takara Tomy's MP12 Sideswipe. And that is Bad Cube Sunstreaker. And the reason why I have these two up here is like the reason why I have these two and the other ones are Bad Cubes is because I remember some collector told me that these two suit together more than the other two. Because the reason why is they suit so much together is because this is like the toy version of them. And then the other two is more anime accurate. But yeah, that's why I got these pairing up together. And this is Moon Studio. This is continuation. So this is Moon Studio, uh, the train bots. They have a bunch of weird Japanese names. I'm not going to name them all. I'm just going to say they're the train bots. So they combine into Raiden. I just don't have space to combine these guys. They're, it, he's a huge combiner. He's about 20 inches tall, right? And then that is Fans Toys. Uh, Rogue, which is um, RC, and that is Fans Toys Hudlum, which is Fans Toys uh, Hot Rod, and that is MP9's, like Rodimus Prime's uh, trailer, Takara Tomy's trailer. Okay, I think we covered this whole center shelf here. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Hold on a second, let's check here. I don't think I missed anything on the center shelf. Like I said, if I named every single character with the third party names, the ridiculously long third party names that they have and stuff, the video would be two hours long. And I don't know if you guys would want to watch a two hour long video. Like I said, if you Google the brand name of the of you know each toy and then just give them the official name, once you Google Google search that, the the actual third party toy will pop up, so you can like just say fans toys sky uh, skyfire and then fans toys phoenix will pop up in Google search right. That's the easiest way. Oh, I haven't named these two, so that is Titan class, um, Titan class uh, Takara Tomy's or Hasbro's whatever, uh, Fortress Maximus. He has the DNA upgrade kit, uh, the ankle tilt kits, the rockers whatever, and then. Also, um, that is Fans Toys Cerebros. I think his third party name is Hannibal. And that is uh, Takara Tomy's Earthrise Scorponok, which is the Titan class as well. And then he also has um, the DNA upgrade kit with the extension uh, quads or hips, whatever. Uh, to make him scale properly with uh, Fortress Maximus here. And then you got some you know, mainline Transformers here of uh, COG. And then there's the red and black COG. And then that is Fast Tracks. Yeah, I think they're Generations or Siege, whatever they're called. But yeah, so we did cover the whole center shelf here. Yeah, we covered the whole center shelf here. 
Okay, let's move on to the next shelf. Okay, we're gonna name my center shelf, the middle island that I have. So, this is the Titan class nemesis. He also does transform. I just displayed him in the ship mode because I, you know, his robot mode was not in the cartoon. So that's why I just display the, these guys in alt mode. And then he, there's the arc, um, Titan class arc. These are mainline toys, right? Mainline transformer toys. It's either Earthrise or Kingdom or whoever made them. You know, there's so many different names, right? Um, that is a Buzzworthy Bumblebee series of uh, basically from the first episode. That's Jazz. That is Wheeljack. And that is Bumblebee, if you can see there. These are all mainline Transformer toys. Mainline meaning that comes from your local Walmarts, local t Toys R Uses, and whatever stores that sell it that you can find locally. They're not imports like like Takara told me in the third party, those are all imports, right? Uh, so here we go, this is uh, third party Tetrajets, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. This is made by a company called Impossible Toys. Super old, 2013 release. I lucked out and found the whole set of, I think it's seven of them, locally for $300 Canadian. And it was brand new, mitten sealed, mitten sealed box. So I lucked out and found it. Because I was working on my alt mode here, display. But yeah. And then you got uh, the modern icons, uh, transformer heads that GameStop sold. I think they were exclusive. So that's Megatron. They do talk. They're, they're battery powered. And you can wear them, but they're very uncomfortable, uncomfortable to wear. They're you know mostly made for kids, right? That's Optimus Prime. And that is Soundwave. Okay, that covers the center island shelf. Oh, and then you got like, you know, Transformers Red. It's Red series, basically is a non-transformable bot, which is Galvatron. And that is KFC Toys. Um, I think his name is Tempest. He's just a Voyager scale of Psychonus. And I, you know, I, I was digging my storage and I found him. I was like, oh, I have, actually have a lot of toys sitting in my storage that... They're like chug scale and stuff. I just left them in the box there. But yeah, that's uh, Psychonus. I just displayed them in alt mode. Okay. That's my center island shelf here. Okay, let's move on to the... Let's go on to this shelf here before I go into the other shelves. Okay, and then uh, let's see here. So the top shelf here. Just got to move this up. Okay. That is... Um, that's just the Generation Siege Starscream. I call these guys, they, they look like Star Wars. I forgot which ship was it, but yeah, that's just uh, Starscream in his Tetrajet mode. And then that is MP5 Megatron, Takar told me. MP5 Megatron with the, I think it's Just Toys upgrade kit, the extension arm and stuff. And then you got some Red Series, uh, Megatron and Optimus Prime again. These are non-transformable transformers, and then this is a non-transformable little Optimus Prime here, and that is a fourth-party MP36 Megatron displayed in alt mode. Okay, and then let's move here. Fix my gimbal here for a second. Okay, that is a. Uh, Mastermind Creations uh, Inventa. Uh, it's basically the reformatted series of Skylinks. And that is Wei Jang's Predaking. He's basically a fourth party version of, or a third party version of um, Power of the Primes Hasbro's uh, Predaking. But this one basically is much cheaper compared to the Hasbro's one. And another thing too is you don't need to get the upgrade kit. It basically already has the upgrade kit, making him look much better compared to the Powers of Prime uh, version, the Hasbro version, where you ha when you buy the upgrade kit, it basically doubles the cost of the Hasbro's version to make him look like this. Yeah, and then you got uh, Fans Toys Toy Color Galvatron. And then you got... Uh, 
Fans Toys Toy Color Astro Chain. So his third party name is Sovereign. And I think it's FT16T. And that's FT44T. And then this is, uh, I forgot his name, the Gold Color Fast Tracks. He's basically uh, Black Xerox counterpart. That's why I have these guys. Like just like Cog back there with Cog with uh, Fortress Maximus and stuff. I buy the main line because it's the counterpart, right, of the big guys. And that is uh, basically uh, Hasbro's Titan class Black Xerox. And then there is Hasbro's Titan class uh, Triptychon with uh, the counterpart Brunt. That's the mainline, mainline Transformer. And then there's a mainline Transformer uh, Slammer. That's his name. And then that is Make Toys Utopia, which is uh, their version of Metroplex. Again, show you guys here. Okay, then we'll move down here. Okay, this is um, Takara Tomy's Masterpiece Skyfire. I think it's MP57. I don't remember all the numbers, but I try my best, right? And then this is X Transport Springer. And then you got my whole Rainmaker and Welcoming Community shelf with. Uh, shockwave so these are basically all make toy seekers so there's acid uh, storm ion storm and nova storm and then you got uh, mp29 shockwave to cartomi's version and then you got the welcoming community which is make toys hot link and that is uh make toys solar flare which is supposed to be sunstorm he's a crowdfunded exclusive and the rest are you know con exclusives and then you got, um, I don't have Bitstream, so I used, um, hold on a second, let me try to show you guys there. If you guys can see back there, the Blue Seeker, which is MP11 mode, that is a Toys R Us exclusive Thundercracker. And the reason why I placed him here is because he, his blue, to me, looks more like Bitstream's blue, and that's why I displayed him as Bitstream. And then you got another Impossible Toys, Tetrajet, and these are the Siege three pack mainline rainmakers in tetrajet they do look like the star wars ship i forgot what that star wars ship is called i was talking to a buddy of mine we were talking about it but yeah that's the rainmakers and the com uh, welcoming committee with shockwave and then let's go down here that is um hasbro's mp11 acid storm in his jet mode, and that is uh, Takara Tomy's MP11S, uh, which is Sunstorm. Let me move down here. There we go, Sunstorm. And then you got the MP11 mode uh, Seekers here, which is Skywarp, Starscream, and Thundercracker. Again, I took my old ones and displayed it in alt mode. Like I always upgrade it, and then I just display the old versions in alt mode, and it works out, you know? And then you got the more Impossible Toys uh, Tetra Jets here. That's supposed to be Dirge, Ram, I think it's Ramjet, and Thrust. And then you got the Takara Tomy's MP11 mold cone heads here. Um, that is Dirge, Ramjet, and Thrust. And we'll move down here. This is Unique Toys um, Terracons. You guys can see here. Again, these aren't actually masterpiece scale, but in team mode, they work. You know, they're about the same height. They're like eight inches a bot, seven inches a bot, right? And there's no option, other option of the Terracons right now. You can get TFC toys, whatever they're called, but they don't look right to me. And then you got um, Warbatron's Technobots. You guys can see here. And there's the creator of the Technobots. That's a Super 7 Grimlock with his thinking cap. Yeah, if you guys remember that episode when he made the Technobots. He became super intelligent. Okay, I think we covered this shelf here. We did. We're close to being done, guys. Close. I would say probably another 25% to go. Okay, let's move 
And over here, we'll name this shelf first then. What am I standing on? Hold on a second, guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's just, I just stepped on my phone. Okay, so we'll start up here. This is MP4 Optimus Prime Takar Tomis. This is uh, the fourth party silver legged MP44 um, Optimus Prime. This is uh, MP44S Takar Tomis, a toy color of Optimus Prime. And that is authentic uh, MP44 trailer. That came with my authentic uh, Optimus Prime MP44 that's sitting on my season one shelf. And then you got Roller and then, you know, his little blaster thing. And then you got, uh, this is Wei Jang's SS-05 Commander. And it also has an upgrade kit that I bought. The gun and the axe. And this is some fourth party of Wei Jang's SS-05. Um, I got it from AliExpress and um, this one is um, basically I just transformed him into uh, truck mode, right? And then you got Takara Tomy's MPM-12, I think it was. Um, Bumblebee's design of Optimus Prime in alt mode here. And that is uh, Magnificent Mecha-01 which is basically a fourth party version of three zeros Optimus Prime. And then this is, um, I think it's Mega Tank or Monocrat Mega Tank or something. Yeah, which is uh, basically supposed to be the Bumblebee design of, um, talking about Bumblebee movie, right? Of uh, uh, Megatron, but he didn't get released in Rise of the Beast, which is such a disappointment, but whatever it is what it is, right? And then you got this um, Asian exclusive um, Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime um, Yeah, my girlfriend bought me this or got it for me And then you got a bunch of you know, like I got the bunch of G1 reissues back there If you guys can see with some Funko Pop Transformers this and that right? Okay, I'm gonna try to find a new place to display those, but this room is running out of space unless I keep adding more islands and stuff, and I don't have the space for that. I'm not gonna crowd my man cave with where I can't walk through and stuff. But anyways, let's get back to it. Okay, this is, um, hold on a second, guys. One second here. What did I, what did I mess up? Okay, there we go. Okay, this is... Uh, Mastermind Creations Feral Cons, which is their version of the of the Predacons. And I have a lot of these chug because I used to collect chug scale before, which is classics, Hen K, I think Universe and Generations. But I don't collect chug scale anymore. And when these guys are combined, basically the Predaking is only he only scales like 14 inches. And that's why I have these guys. And I kept them because so I can display them in team mode display and you know I know Kang Toys this company this third party company named Kang Toys made the Predacons but they do not look G1 accurate at all they look more like Gundam characters right or something crazy looking you know too futuristic looking to me or for me but yeah these are the Farrakhan's and then we'll go to um okay that is X Transbots Punch and counter punch, I think. Uh, which one is it? I think, is it this one's punch and this one's counter punch? I don't remember which one exact. And that is uh, X Transbot. I think it's it's an Omnibot. So I think that's Overdrive. I think that's his name. He's a, you know, season four character or continuation character. I didn't watch, you know, to be honest, I did not watch the continuation. I only watched Transformers. Um, when it ended in the U.S. series, which is, I think, 1988, or, yeah, I think 1988 when it's, when it's ended, and that's it. And then during the 90s, that was my early teen years, so I grew out of Transformers then. But, yeah, let's get back to it again. Um, this is uh, X-Transbot's uh, Roundabout and Runamuck. And these are fans, hobbies, Darkwing, and Dreadwind. They're also... Um, they're also uh, continuation characters. Okay, and then you got my little G1. I only got three of them like that I displayed. I have like, you know, like Starscream, G1 Starscream, 
encore edition but i did not take it out of the box and i also have the constructicons i did not take it out of the box so i just left them back there okay this is uh you know a hasbro g1 reissue of soundwave and that is um that's the takari book series you know that i don't know what's called but basically it's the transformers masterpiece there i'm mean, sorry not masterpiece transformers g1 collective series that's the optimus prime uh g1 collective series and that is G1 Megatron Collective Series that Takara made. I think they it, it, the boxes look like a book, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you, uh, collectors would know what they are, what they are. And then you got uh, X Transbots uh, Prosecutor, and that is X Transbots Doctor Egg. I, I I think this guy's name Lelope. Or if, I, I can't even pronounce it. It's a weird name. Uh, and then yeah, there's X Transbots Quintesson. They do take batteries. I have not bought the batteries yet. They're quite expensive. I just, you know, I'm just a displayer, right? <laughs> Maybe one day I'll put the batteries in. And these little things here, right here, these little guys right here, they're actually remote, remote controls to control them. And then you got uh, Takar Tomy's Masterpiece Hoist. And that's Takar Tomy's Masterpiece Trailbreaker. And then you got... Uh, I think it's Ocular Max Sphinx, which is um, their version, third-party version of a masterpiece uh, Mirage, and that is uh, what's his name? He's a die clone, the Lamborghini. He's basically the red color of uh, Sunstreaker. I just don't remember his name now. Sometimes the names won't pop up in my head, but it's a die clone version of uh, MP39 Sunstreaker. Just don't remember his name right now. And that is X Transbots um, Cliff Jumper. And that is Takar Tomy's Masterpiece Skids. And then this is uh, T, I think it's TR 01 Agent Meister, which is uh, Transform and Rollout. I think that's the third party's name. Transform and Rollout uh, Masterpiece Scale Jazz. And then you got, then I got, uh, what's that? Uh, this is Robeson's, uh, this is the flagship edition, 19 inch uh, Optimus Prime. And then that's just uh, MP36's authentic uh, extension arm and whatever. I didn't, didn't, did not know where to put, put that thing. So I took most of the accessories out of the box when I'm down in my storage. So I don't have to go digging, digging for it when I need it. And then you got just some Michael bots. So down here, you get them from the dollar store and stuff. Okay, let's start again up here. That's a Hasbro's Titan class Metroplex with Scamper and Six Gun. That's the uh, some generations, basically mainline Transformer generations of Six Gun. I think it's Siege that made it. I don't remember who made it. And then you got my little Optimus Prime shelf here. The top shelf over here was also Optimus Prime. But yeah, we'll do it over here. And then that is um, MP10 Golden Lagoon's version. And then there's the, you know, that's part of the Golden Lagoon uh, MP10's uh, collection of Beachcomber. That's Beachcomber, Sea Spray, and Perceptor. And then you got uh, MP10, Hasbro's MP10 Shatter Glass. And then you got. Uh, that's Magic Square's Light of Peace version 2 with the premium parts, which is Optimus Prime. And then you got uh, MP10B, Nemesis Prime, and that's the original MP10 Optimus Prime, Takar Tomy. And then you got uh, Generation, I think, Generation Legacy uh, Alita 1. I have, him, have her sitting on uh, Optimus Prime's sh shoulder. Again, these guys don't scale, but we don't have them in Masterpiece, so... It is what it is, right? Um, that is Orion Pax. That's, a, um, again, Legacy. Transformers trans, uh, Generations Legacy Orion Pax. That came with a two-pack of Alpha Trion as well. If you guys can see there. And then you got uh, Ariel. Again, Legacy. And then Dion. And then, yeah. And then I think that Vector Sigma ball came with the two-pack of the Generations of the Orion packs and uh, Alpha Trion. And then we'll move down here. This is uh, 
Transform Element TE01 uh, Optimus Prime. I think his name is Opt Leader. And then that is uh, Bad Cube Swerve. I just have not transformed him into alt mode yet. And that's Bad Cube's Outback. Again, I haven't transformed it in alt mode yet. And that is uh, Bad Cube um, Hoist, which is, uh, his name is Lori. I think that's his third party name. These guys are super old. And then uh, X Transbots Aegis, which is their version of, the tune version of uh, Trailbreaker. And that is <coughs> X2 Toys Teletran 1. It's like a masterpiece scale. Yeah, and then go down here. Okay, that is Fans Hobby Overlord. He's in the G1 continuation series. And then that is Fans Hobby Double Dealer. You guys can see there. And then you got Star Toys. Let's move it down here. Star Toys um, Blitzwing in his tank mode. And that's KFC Toys Blitzwing in his jet mode. And that is a fourth party uh, fans toys Astro Train. I forgot which company made it again. But yeah, they, there's some companies that made fourth party of fans toys. It's funny. Fourth party of third party. So which one is a... Th there is no authentic. So third party is third party. Fourth party is fourth party. But it's funny how the third party are getting copied. But anyways, yeah. So this is... Uh, yeah, so this is fans... Uh, fourth party fans toys uh, Thomas. Which is... Uh, KO version of the fans toys version of Astro Chain. And I think that's it guys. I think we did it. Hold on a second here. I just bumped to my gimbal. Okay, I think we did it. I think we did it. I think we named everything. I hope this video won't be too long. It's gonna take me a while to edit it, but yeah, we named everything guys. That is my collection. And small update. I do have a few things coming. Tomorrow I think I have Make Toy Slipstream coming. It's actually with Canada Post and I think it just arrived Victoria. So I, I work at Canada Post, so I should get it tomorrow. And then I also have um I got the Aquamax, you know, cassettes coming and also the um Fans Toys Viper, I think that's the name. Uh which is one of the aerial bots. Oh, and I'm still waiting on Studio Cell Primus. My friend said he's waiting for the second batch. My local Transformer Masterpiece plug that I have. That imports stuff for me. Yeah, he said still waiting on it. So I don't know what's going on. Waiting for that. And so, so I can move. Oh, and also I ordered Shuriking. What's messed up is I ordered Shuriking. Like I got it for as a birthday gift from my girlfriend. And we tried ordering it off of AliExpress. Four times. It got, I had to get refund on that guy because everyone, uh, the, the Chinese sellers on AliExpress is not granting, it's not granting the sales. You know, the, you know how they have choice day sales and stuff? They're not granting that price. So they keep messaging me and saying, oh, sorry, pr uh, the price was a mistake. Um, can you send more money or whatever, whatever, or the price increased. So I basically got four times refunded for sure, King. And I ended up ordering it from, I don't know if you guys know this company called Baba Bobo. I think it's Baba Bobo 00712. I used to order from this guy a lot back in the day. He's like the biggest eBay seller for uh, Transformers and stuff, like third party and all that. Um, so he had the last one in stock. I ordered it on June 9th. And it took him two weeks. Like first he replied me like a week and a half later saying that he couldn't get the whole set because they couldn't find the whole set in the warehouse. And then two weeks, total of two weeks later after the June 9th, he replied me and said, oh, they found it. And now I'm, they said that they're going to ship it with my, uh, once I confirm it. I said, yes, please ship it, confirm it because it's supposed to be my birthday gift, my 47th birthday gift to my, uh, basically my girlfriend bought it for me, right? So it's not, I haven't heard anything since then. And this, you know, he, he used to be pretty quick on shipping, but then uh, he is quite slow. I don't know what happened to him. But anyways, I really hope I get that guy because what I'm going to do with that Shira King is he's supposed to re get replaced. He's supposed to replace Studio Cell's 
position right here, like where where I display Studio Cell. And Studio Cell Unicron is supposed to be moved to here, right beside Unicron. And then HasLab Unicron is supposed to be transformed back into uh, Planet Mode. And then Studio Cell Primus is supposed to be displayed right here, right beside him, right? And Shira King is going to go there. And I was going to move all the Sharktacons over here. Because I have another Siege Quintesson coming. And I was going to display X Transbots uh, Quintesson. Move them in the middle and have the two generation toys Quintesson side by side. And then just have the whole Quintesson army right here. That's what I was going to do. But that was my plans. But anyways, yep. Yeah, enough of that story. Hopefully I get that Shira King. Anyways. But thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And, you know, happy collecting until all, all are one. And till next time, guys. Till the next one. Peace out. Mm -hmm.